If you are an Angular developer, you must have heard a term signal. We all are talking about it. Signal is everywhere. In this video, we are going to learn about a lesser known information about signal called equality function. We are going to learn that why we need equality function and why it is important to know about that. So let us get it started. What I'm going to do, I'm going to first create a signal. So let's say that I'm creating a signal called count and you uh, use a signal function to create a, create a signal and that returns you a writable signal. So here we say that hey signal and the value of that is 89. So this signal function returns a writable signal and the initial value for that is 89 and this count works with a type number. Now go ahead and display that and here we display that so you can call a signal as a function on the template to display that. And here you can see that I'm getting that value count 89. Good. Now let's, what I'm going to do is that I'll go to app component here. Now I want to update that value. So for that, here in the update count, I can say this dot count dot update. And here we say P, P plus one. This is the way you can update a signal and I have why this update count on the button here. So when you click on this button, this update count function gets called. And in this update count function, we are updating that count signal by calling update mat method. Keep in mind, uh, now this writable signal has only two methods. One is set and one is update. They used to have a muted method as well, but that is no longer uh, in version 17. And you can update a signal using update. You can set a new value to signal using set method. And here I'm using update. So let's go ahead and update the count and we are able to update the count. So far, so good. Now let's go ahead and create a signal of type uh, of a product type. So here I have created a product type I product we are going to create a signal of of that type so let's call that as product again a writable signal and this is going to be of type i product and calling the signal function and inside that i need to pass that i product and i'm going to say all right id is one title is 10 oh sorry title is pen price is 200 and color is red so here i have created a signal of type i product and i can go ahead and uh, display that here on the template but if i want i can display that in effect as well now in a signal you have like signal computer signal and effect now what is effect if you want to notify uh, if you want to execute a task or something whenever a signal changes you can write that code inside effect and effect function you can only create inside a injection context we can cover that in other video a constructor is an injection context so here I can say effect and effect is a function so here we are going to say console.log and to start with this dot count we're just displaying the value of count here console.log this dot count and right here all right so here you see that as soon as you run this once this effect gets caught uh, whenever as of now for a component change detection runs it executes the change uh, the effect function for the signal so effect gets executed for sure at least once so here we have uh, as soon as we run our application effect is getting called which you get here 89 now when we update count what happens that we are updating the signal and signal notifies to effect and effect should print that updated value so here you have 90 here you have 91 here you have 92 here you have 93 everything looks good next uh, what i'm going to do here is that you see that here we are updating this dot count dot update and each time we are updating it with new value what i'm going to do for the purpose of demo is that that i'm going to say that p equal to 9 so initially the value of uh, count signal is 89 and first time it is getting updated to 9. now let's go here and focus on the output so first time your effect gets executed and you get here 89 as an output now when you update count this is 9 
and here in the effect you get 9 being printed but now when we click on this update count function button it is updating the count signal to the same value so you see that since it's being updated with the same value it is not notifying to the signal and signal is smart enough to identify whether the old value and the current value is same or not if it is same it is not propagating the notification further in the effect so let's let's go here in effect and in the effect here you see that i say that console dot log and hello effect it would call here update count so hello effect and 89 it is again calling it is not it is not calling the effect because that value is being not changed the value is still uh, the value is still the same so this is how uh, angular signal and uh, angular signal takes care of the effect that if the old value is same as the current value it will not notify it will not propagate the changes in the effect so so far so good but the challenge arises when we work with the reference type here i have i product now let's go ahead and perform the same assignment with i product so let's get rid of this let's get come in this now here what i'm going to say i'm going to say this dot product dot update and here we are going to update the product so we will say p of type i product all right so here we say p of type i product and as i product and here we are going to say return as i product and here we would say id as let's say one price as 400 title as pencil and color as white so here what we are doing is here we are saying that this dot product and then we are saying that i product and from here it's a function so return that object all right so here you see that i am returning a new object here uh, like updating that uh, that i product with id 1400 this is the this is not same same object this is the different object here you have pin 200 and then go ahead and print that console.log this dot product so here i am printing that now let's go ahead and here you have this first time your product printed then you say update count it is printing you the second object now when I click on update count again we are actually updating product signal with the same object technically and you see that it is it is notifying signal each time even if object is actually the same and the effect is is getting notified and eventually effect may propagate the changes now how we can handle that so for that what we do we go to signal and in the signal here go to definition you see that when creating a signal you have an initial value which you pass then optionally you have a create signal options which you can pass optionally go to create signal options and here you have a equal function that is again optional where you can pass a value equality function so let us go ahead and create that so here what i'm going to do i'm going to create a equality function so let's say that i'll say that hey function each product equal and in this i can pass two parameter i product and b i product all right so here i'm creating a function and then in this function i can go and check that if 
now there are various way you can compare two products you can use Lodash and all i am using json.stringify i'll say that if json.stringify a is equal to json.stringify b then return true otherwise return false so here i had created a equality created a function that takes two parameter i product and b product and checking whether they are same or not if they are same i'm saying that return true or i'm saying return false so here i have created this function in the same component class you can create anywhere else and import it now while creating this signal product what i'll do i'll pass the second parameter which is that optional object and i say that hey equal is that function which I have created, my function name is here each product equal. I'll say each product equal. So here you see that I am passing a equality function while creating the signal equal each product equal. In each product equal, I'm checking for for previous uh, previous value and the current value. If they are same, I'm saying that they are equal. Don't propagate. Otherwise, I'm saying false. Now let's go ahead and see the behavior of this update count. And right here it's rightly first time being executed now when you see update count it is being executed after this it is not executing because we have put a condition that hey hey if these two objects are same please don't propagate the change inside the effect so this is something which is very handy and you should know once again what uh, effect does uh, what signal does that it has effect what angular does that whenever sig uh, uh, effect can depend on a signal or more than a signal and inside an effect effect gets executed first year at least once and whenever signal value changes it notifies to ex to effect Please keep in mind, this is very important, that it's not that whenever value of signal is changing, effects is getting executed. It's not, not like that. We do not know when ex effect is getting executed. Most probably that gets executed when Angular runs change detector for that component. But there is, uh, there, there is guarantee that effect would get executed sometimes in future, for sure. Uh, once again, it's not that whenever value of signal is changing, effects is getting uh, getting executed synchronously. That does not happen. Execu effect gets executed asynchronously, and it is guaranteed that it would get executed in the future sometimes. Uh, but when we actually don't know. But if you have to propagate the changes further, you can write that code in effect for the signal changes. Now I hope you know what is the purpose of equality functions because when you are working with reference type or uh, objects, always Angular is going to propagate the changes. If you want to stop that, you can create an equality function the way we have created here from line 11 to 16 and then you can pass that while creating that object. So I hope you find this video useful. You are going to experiment with equality functions while creating signal. Let me know how you find this video. Uh, if you have any question, feel free to ask me in the comment on Twitter or uh, on the LinkedIn comments. And uh, feel free to uh, please share this video with your friends who are working on Angular and uh, subscribe to the channel such that I feel motivated. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you again. Thank you.